Supporting students' mental health is a top consideration for higher education practitioners because it's one of the key factors to retention and engagement. However, when it comes to knowing what to say to a student who's struggling with their mental health, many faculty members feel out of their depth and unprepared to have that conversation. Here are a few tips you can use. The first step in supporting students' mental health is understanding where their mental health concerns come from. Today's learners have higher levels of anxiety and depression than ever before, and a lot of this has to do with the COVID-19 pandemic and other global events that have created traumatic or stressful situations for students. Affordability and other financial concerns also impact today's learners more now than ever before with a cost of living crisis and more basic needs and security among learners. Next, faculty members should be aware of the ways that poor mental health can manifest itself in the classroom setting. A declining academic performance, skipping class, isolation, or irritability can all be signs that your student is going through something outside of the classroom. The first step to supporting mental health might just be identifying the resources already available to you at your institution. A majority of students are unable to recognize the resources provided to them by their institution, despite the high number of institutions that are investing in additional mental health supports. Maybe that's wellness offerings or financial aid classes, or it could even just be connecting a student with the telehealth provider or a counseling center available to them on campus. Faculty members can make themselves aware of the available supports at their institution and share them in the classroom, whether that's putting up a slide before class starts or adding them to their syllabi. Mental health first aid courses can also support faculty members by giving them training and education for how to respond to a student who's in a mental health crisis. Other ways that you can get in front of mental health concerns in the classroom is by sharing healthy coping techniques and wellness exercises that can make sure students are able to support themselves if they are feeling stressed. For more information about how faculty members can support student mental health, you can read this article online at insidehighered.com.